Hello, my name is Eddie Tofbig. I'm Head of Technical Analysis and Senior Markets Analyst at ADM Investor Service International Limited. As is usual at this time of year, I have forgone the usual daily charts and instead I have concentrated on giving a longer term view using weekly, monthly, even yearly charts, but rarely using daily charts. Now, if you'd like to discuss any of these charts, I'd only be too happy to take your call. So without any further delay, let me introduce today's longer term chart. Today, I'll be looking long term at New York coffee. I'd like to start this year by sharing something that I reprised in last year's commentary, originally actually from early 2020, that is still current as we go forward into 2022. It is still very much worth listening to and understanding what, is, what it meant back then and now in the light of what has happened in 2020, obviously, and especially what it meant and means to what happened in 2021. And as a start, 2020 as well. Now I quote, I could write many things here, I probably will in the end, but the key thing or things to bear in mind as they are related, it is that the monthly key reversal up seen in May 2019, that was effectively a rejection of the 2005 low at 86.35, was the cause of what eventually became an annual key reversal up in 2019. End of that quote. This monthly key reversal up halted the decline, but it was not enough on its own to start a pullback up. Two other patterns that I had also pointed out last year were responsible for the acceleration higher. One was tactical, formed between May to July 2020, and the other was strategic, formed between 2017 to 2021. In the first case, whilst the monthly key reversal up already mentioned halted the decline, it was a three-month spanning bullish morning star pattern between May to July 2020 that lit the touch paper on the rally we have seen even until now. The strategic pattern is one that may be familiar to readers of my commentary from last year and the year before. I'll quote from my original commentary from the start of 2019. Here goes. Finally, there is the possibility, just the possibility, that the action since the drop back in 2016 could be a type of bump and run reversal pattern. It looks very much as if it could be, but it is early, so watch carefully. End of quote. I added the following comments last year, and here I quote again. 2020 has done everything it could to stymie that bump and run reversal pattern. and For the most part, it has been effective. However, it has not killed off the idea. I still think we might just have such a pattern. We'll just have to see." End of quote. In November 2020, the market reached up to the high of the 2014 move at 229.10 and the ultimate target level for any bump and run reversal pattern after two failed attempts in July and October. The market is now consolidating on top of the pattern target area in the 229 area. It is now deciding what to do next after having achieved this exemplary move up originating in 2019. At the moment, and it is only days into 2020, it looks like it might try higher and it seems to be working towards a bullish engulfing pattern for January. Realistically, the next topside target of significant resistance is the congestion between 265.5 and 267 and three quarters and then the August to September 2011 high area between 287.15 and 290.85. On the downside, below the 229 area, it would have to be the big 50% Fibonacci line of the 2011-2019 move at 198.30 and the nearby congestion between 195.90 to 197 even. One final point, and it has only become evident in 2021, we have had three, yes, three golden crosses in quick succession. Now, I know these are lagging indicators, but it is worth noting and keeping an eye on them. They are the one-year moving average, currently at 183.40, over the five-year moving average, currently 
the two-year moving average, currently 149.45, over the five-year moving average, and the three-year moving average, currently 134.95, over the five-year moving average. As you'll notice, all the one, two, and three-year moving averages have golden crossed solely over the five-year moving average. It's not ideal, but it is what it is.